my job too. The druids don't care about us. Yeah. No one yeah. does. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mole says. That girl. I don't care what Mole says. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little Hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we'd do without her. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Stop. I was fine. Your mother was a heartbeat away from fighting too. a bear. Whoa. Hey. Can't say I've ever seen someone like you before. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, not so loud! You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. The hell it is. You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets, because... Oh, damn. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? You'll be sorry about this, scab. Count on it. to sell my p partner does that what um i'm the guard so don't steal anything i'm watching you Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiefling. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you, move! Get out! 
out of my head. Let me out, you bunch of softies. It's our job to get us out. It's my job too. The druids don't care about us. Yes. No. Yes, I see. We have to look after ourselves. That's what Mull. You ever scare me like that again, and I'll feed you to a knoll. Mom, I'm fine. Stop it. Our little hellion told us what happened. Thank you. Don't know what we do without her. Likewise. Arabella? Thank you. For helping me. Stop. I was fine. Your mother was a heartbeat away from fighting a bear. Isn't that how mum usually is? Whoa. Hey. Can't say I've ever seen someone like you before. Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Now call it, heads or tails. Heads it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap too, interested? Hey, not so loud. You caught me, all right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. The hell it is. You can't do that one with rings. It has to be with bracelets because Oh, damn. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? You'll be sorry about this, scab. Count on it. Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. What? Um... I'm the guard? So, don't steal anything! I'm watching you. Right, I've got food, water, my dagger, goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. And your dogs. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You gonna kill her, too? <laughs> you! Move! What is wrong with you? Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies?
can't say I understand that. I'm not sure I want to. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Let me out, you bunch of softies! Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way we diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. The way you got Korga to release the girl. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul, except for my cat. You see, I have this condition, very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with, though not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I'll spare you the finer details, but begins with a simple biological deterioration, muscle spasms, disorientation, a slight ringing in the ears, and, left for too long, catastrophe. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. Only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. You know for yourself how hard won such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved, or great cost. Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. I'm afraid that's not going to work on me. Look, I appreciate your curiosity, but don't pursue this path. Let's agree on actions first and explanations later. Yes? <laughs> Thank you. I see my trust in you was not misplaced. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. 
Oh, and as far as that tadpole trickery goes, I really do trust you'll not be so untoward again. of your kids, and your birdies, and your dogs! To make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your guts. They'll peel your face off and nail it to a wall. I ain't scared of some god. Stick a dozen arrows in me and priestess guards still patch me up. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyog. I'm not saying we should trust a goblin, but she sounds very useful. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Then hurry up and do it. My tribe ain't as friendly as I am. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. I already met your friend. You here to get me out of here? Well, hurry up. I got all the time in the world. You don't. Oh, you teeths are all boring. Even your cages are boring. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kiss and your birdies and your dogs. Ready to go meet my tribe? Just say the word. We're burning her name across the face of the world, we are. The absolute is gold from the sky, she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Happily, lead the way.
glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. Let's find another one. Did some bleeding hearts show up to save the druid? I'll cut you to pieces. What are you doing? It's me, Sapper. What's next, I wonder? Oi! Don't leave your pal Sazza behind! I can't follow your fancy booyog! It ain't safe here. Hurry back. Tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Courage in danger shadow. I love to see it. But shouldn't the shadow have crept closer? Gone darker by now? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Indeed. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. I was rather enjoying my view of the ceiling. I am. I have been thinking. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring. When we find the druid. Will he know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? Good. I don't want you to run off just yet. You're quite the ally, after all. Traversing Avernus, surviving the crash, surviving everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. You 
have your charms more than you think. The smile on his pretty lips is a touch too composed, a bit too perfect. He may not mean a word he says. Oh, you're no fun. Sleep tight. I'll see you later. I'm sure. The leader of the pack comes to chat. What's on your mind? You must be pleased to have a clear path forward. The sooner we find the druid house in, the better. I can't wait to get rid of this thing in my head. The same. These parasites are proving suspiciously benign. But suppose I turn. What would you do? Really? I'd just kill you. Anyway, get some rest. Try not to dream about tying me up. Kalek. I remember who I was in Kreshkalir. I was hungry to face my first geich. My sword pined for their blood. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. Next time you're able, look to the sky. Watch the moon cross it. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crash. Clear. Your curiosity is to be commended. Githyanki are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Clear is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vaj's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Everyone else minds their business. I'll be fine. 